Hey, it's Max Graham. I'm just about to play at ERA in Ottawa, and you're watching DJ Mag Canada. Well, I moved here after high school in Los Angeles and started DJing um, right out of high school and sort of took a year off university to try out this DJ thing and still here. So I actually started in Ottawa as a hip-hop DJ. Um, I worked at a teen club across town uh, and sort of learned my skills in hip-hop, scratching, cutting. And then it's funny, actually, the venue we're in, I worked in, um, yeah, I think, 96, 95. So, Ottawa and I obviously have tons of history and we built Atomic here and sort of launched my career uh, in the late 90s, early 2000s and then I moved, I moved out probably 2002. So, you know, coming, coming home for me too is so many friends here and people who supported me early on all come out which is really cool. So it's a lot of fun. Well, I did, um, I think this year Probably the highlight was doing Asot in Mexico, which was, you know, 19,000 people sold out. And we got there at 8, and we were starting at 9, and we were the first act, and Armin was doing the warm-up backstage, and the place was already completely full. So we went up on stage, and it was sort of like, it was like the birds, like there was just all these people kind of murmuring, but like thousands of people. And it just gives you the chills, and then as soon as the first record we played of the night, the place just erupted. That was one of the highlights of my career, I would say. You know, anytime you do Ass Up with Armin, it's like, and it was the first of that tour, so it was just insane. And so Rebrand was a chance for me to sort of put together a family that, you know, would put music out that, that I loved and I hoped other people would love, you know? Trusting sort of my taste to sort of, you know, steer this thing and, and create like a little family of, of really talented guys. Um, Solid Stone is another guy out of Montreal that's signed to the label who's really growing right now and he's someone that we talk a lot about his music and I've sort of tried to direct his style but he's and I just sent him an email two days ago where I'm like he's you know increasing exponentially with his knowledge and his talent and um, then I have Steve Haynes from England and then Protoculture then Johan Malmgren a Swedish guy who I think is also super talented. Well, Cycles for me has, has really been my savior. You know, I don't know if you know, I took 2009 off because I was really kind of disillusioned with what was going on in the industry and what was going on with me and my music and where my head was at. And then 2010, I came back and I, I really looked at, you know, what, what was a way for me to let people know where my head was at musically and what I played and allow people to change with me. When someone only hears you once a year and you've changed your music style, it can be confusing they might not, you know, pay to come out and hear you if they don't know, or they heard a set like that didn't sound like the last time they heard you a year ago. With a weekly show, and it's two hours a week, so it's a lot of work. It gives people a chance to get like it's like a constant update for what's happening with me musically. So when people come to the club, they know exactly what they're going to get. Uh, not really. There's a few things coming, but deals have to be signed and. You know, I just did a track with Tanya, who's hiding over here, the lovely Tanya Zagar. Um, that was the latest sort of vocal single called Diamonds, and then Wes Deval did a remix of that. Uh, everything's on my SoundCloud, which is, of course, soundcloud.com slash maxgram. But we put up, post up little clips of upcoming stuff there. There is a couple of vocal singles coming up. There's going to be a follow-up to the Evil ID, which is going to be another kind of dark pounder, which is really weird that this song has done so well, because it's, it's like you... You make songs to try to make them popular and then you make songs that you're like, only I'm going to like this. And those are the ones that do the best, you know? It's like the harder you try, the, the more you fail. And then you make something that you're like, nobody's going to play this except for me. And ends up being the biggest record I've made in you know, a couple of years. So um, there's always more to come. Hopefully a full album by next year, but I said that last year. So with the radio show and the label and touring, it's, I need to build a team to get this album done build a team so they can do everything else so I can stay home working on the album, but that'll be the day.